Hello Angel Messenger friends, this is Ree and I want to show you the new Chakra Balance Fizzy Bath Powder that I made. This one is not a condensed version, so it is made ready to go. It's soft and has a light gold um, color because of the golden milk powder that's in it. It has frankincense and myrrh essential oils, so it's basically the three gifts given to Christ. And there's a reason for that, because this is meant to help you balance your chakra system, the rainbow within. So hopefully some of you know the significance of that and are drawn to that. And there's, um, for the first time, I really got the sense of some new, new guardians and ancestors working with me. I really felt my Grandma Hilda, I'm sorry, sorry, Grandma, um, my Grandma Hilda and Grandpa Oliver are working with me. And my Grandma Hilda is my great uh, grandma. She is the Romani ancestor that I have. And my Grandpa Oliver is the Native American ancestor that I have. And I'm sure Oliver was not the name he was born with, um, but the name that he was given when he was um, forced to be white. So um, there's that. I really felt connected to my ancestors, as I said, and if you're drawn to this video, drawn to this powder, I guess it's okay for me to tell you. Um, when I make these powders and when I make jewelry, anything that I create, I always put prayers and blessings into my work. Um, I've always done that before I did readings. I, I did that to prepare, and that's who I've always naturally been, and even before I realized that my um, blood is descended from a shamanic, two shamanic cultures, and I just was always naturally drawn to that. And I haven't really talked about it a lot because um, I do have people around me that don't believe in that, and I've just kind of been a chicken, honestly. <laughs> I haven't been really, I haven't felt really confident to talk about it. Um, and I'm going to reach more into myself to connect with that part of who I am more and creating these baths um, is part of that. My illness has been really difficult to deal with and creating sacred baths for myself like this one um, has been part of my healing experience and this one honestly is one that I did not make for myself. This is a, a new creation and um, completely new um, for me as well as you, but I did create this, co-create this with um, God and Goddess. For the first time um, in creating something for myself, I really connected with God as well as Goddess, feminine and masculine. Um, and for the first time in a very long time, I realized that um, I have heard not just the call of the Goddess to step forward, but the call of God as well. And that really, really connected deeply with me. And um, so anyway, that's where this has come from. And I just wanted to show you um, the powder. Um, they do have a little name on the back. So if you do decide you want a specific stone, um, like this one is Howlite, which is this. Um, so you can see the, the stones are really nice. I had two different sources for the stones. So these ones, um, these, like all these ones have come from one source here. Um, those are together. And then these ones here came from a different source. These are a little bit smaller, um, but they're still really good quality. I will say I was a little bit disappointed in the chakra stone. I bought like five of these to kind of put in with the collection and they're a bonded chakra stone. So they're, they were more expensive. They're like $5 a stone. Um, and the others, I, well, maybe those were, these were like $5 a stone. This was like six. I can't remember. But, um, so these are, you know, they have amethyst, sodalite, lapis. Um, I can't remember what the rest of them are. They're written on the website. Um, but you can see this does not look like lapis. They painted this, which drives me crazy because it's not, it's not authentic. It's not real. Um, but co color does, you know, it, color can help to uh, raise vibration as well. And um, for me, myself, 
I work with paints and I do paint and that does help me balance um, my voice, helps me speak out and express myself. So I kind of felt like maybe that was meant to be, maybe for the people who get the stone, they are supposed to express themselves from a creative point of view, from maybe even paint, painting. Um, I kind of feel like there's a lot of things that in my life especially, I maybe miss the point and don't don't always notice the signs. And, and, and that's something I want to speak more about to you. Um, signs can come in so many different ways. And while it, it would be so easy to just be like, hey, you know, this was supposed to be a real stone and you sold me this one that's painted and get mad at the seller, you know. But I really saw right away that this could be a sign for for myself um, and I'm keeping this one because it also has this little flaw here and I didn't want anybody to get that one but so this one I'm keeping for myself but um, I, I think that and, and you can leave a note when you buy it if you don't want the chakra stone and you want me to choose a stone for you you can leave a note um, say yes I want the shot I want Shri to choose for me I want Rita to choose for me but I don't want the, the chakra stone if you don't like this that's fine as well or you have the option of choosing um, your stone if you would like to do that um, but I I think signs come in all kinds of ways and for me um, this was a reminder that I need to get back to painting which helps me to just kind of let go and express what's going on within. Um, and I, you know, I paint stones to go on my porch and I paint stones for friends. And um, we even had that Mother Earth uh, project uh, maybe a couple years now ago. And I was sad that I, I couldn't do it this year because um, I didn't know if people would be upset to pick up stones that could have the virus on them. So I sort of chickened out and didn't do it this year. And I was sad about it. And so this for me was kind of a message that I, it was okay to get back to my painting and, and paint rocks and, and do that again. Um, and I put protective symbols and um, different things under the paint too. So um, it was kind of a message to me. So I wanted to show you that the chakra stones do have the lapis painted and maybe they did that because it's not real lapis under there, I don't know. Or maybe they didn't like the color of the lapis, I'm not sure, but that is not what lapis looks like that's painted. So um, just FYI. I thought maybe it was turquoise because turquoise tends to get painted a lot, um, but the seller told me it's lapis. So do what you will with that. I just wanted to make you aware of it, okay? Um, and some of the other stones that are in here, the, the moonstone is really pretty. Um, this is sunstone. We have rhodonite. Um, this is a compassion stone. I one of the um, bracelets that I made. Uh, both the bracelets I made had um, both. Um, uh, totally drawn a blank. Why can't I remember what this is? Rose quartz. Okay. Um, yeah. For those of you who have brain fog, that that's how it works. So um, rose quartz and rhodonite um, were in the bracelets that I made. Those are both um, love stones, um, compassion and love stones, but. Um, stones of unconditional love, but rhodonite is definitely um, for bringing compassion and healing to a situation, especially um, bringing emotional balance where anger and negativity are um, an issue. It's good for healing heart wounds. So, and rose quartz is good for all kinds of love, and you know, it's the, the love stone. Um, and then, of course, amethyst is a stone that's in there. This is a really pretty one. And how light um, this one is a good stone this is to sever unhealthy relationships and to protect you from negative energy so that you can move forward with peace and positivity I actually kept one of these out for myself because I'm going through um, some things where my body is telling me that some of the relationships that I try to deal with uh, lift people up and constantly am giving where there's only taking going on maybe you need to hear this too so um, that's a good how light thing 
Um, this is a really cool one, Red Adventuring. This one is to manifest your desires while energizing you for the next creative endeavor. It can also help you take on life's challenges and persevere with determination. So that's a cool one. Actually, I'm pretty sure that Red Adventuring is one of the stones in this chakra stone. Um, and this one is Blue Gold Stone. That's a cool one. We have Unikite. And this one is, I had never seen this before. I found it in um, a worry stone. I think it's a really cool one. It's a form of obsidian, so it's very protective, but it's mahogany obsidian. This gives you strength when you're in tense situations, but it's a gentle energy, so it's maybe a little bit gentler than regular obsidian, um, but it is very grounding and protective. From negativity so it's a really good stone to have um, there are other stones but I put them all in the powders so you'll see other options online um, I just got tired and didn't make any more so I probably have enough left to do another batch these are made in small batches and I think one batch I can make like seven bags um, so I definitely have enough here to make at least one more batch um, even though I'm going to save a couple out for myself. So um, anyway, I hope that you are interested in trying one for yourself. The intention that I put into these, these bags is for you to rise to the next version of your own soul um, and to be able to be the best version of yourself. Um, because right now, that's, that's what's needed. Um, and if you're a light worker, well, if you're listening to this, you probably are. Um, and you're needed here at this time and you need to figure out what it is you're supposed to be doing at this time. And so it's intended to help you be the best version of yourself to connect to your highest soul self and to protect you. And um, if you look up the, the magical use of these ingredients, I will tell you that the interesting thing is co-creating with our ancestors in heaven and our spirit guides I, I put these ingredients together and knew it was a great blend. And then I looked up the magical uses of that. <laughs> and if you, if you do look it up, you'll find that to be very interesting. So anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you'll try one of these baths out for yourself. Um, the stone is about halfway down the bag, by the way. I put... Um, about half full and then drop the stone in so that it's safe in the middle um, and these bags are resealable um, though they are they're sealed with a sealer um, so you can rip it open and then reseal it um, and what else so you can get at least two baths if not three or four depending on how you use it you can add it to your own salts um, it doesn't have any herbs in it and the reason I did it that way is because um, all of the ones that I've used with herbs in them make my bathtub really gross. Um, I have a jutted tub and it really gets, it's not good. So anyway, I don't put herbs in there because I don't like my bathtub getting gross. And I didn't think my other people would either. So I only use oils that are um, good and safe for bathtubs. And anyway, so <laughs> anyway, so that's the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. And I wish you a very blessed day. Thank you.